All right, so we're back. Back for part two. We're in. What are we? We're in some caves. See, there we are. All right, we are in the Broughton Caves. Broughton being a road lived that actually Kurt family lived on. Lives on. So we're gonna go through a cave and see a whole bunch of bats and mice. And just beat them up real quick because it's pretty easy. <clears throat> um, and I still don't think they have any abilities. I don't think they learn anything until like level 5 or so. So we'll just get everything out of the cave here as we go. And yeah, hopefully you guys don't just mind me rambling because that's what most of this is going to be. With my terrible audio ability. But whatever. Again, I'm sure there's only like three people watching, <laughs> so not a big deal. Alright. Luck charm. Let's equip that. Tootsie needs some luck. Alright. Look at these fuzzy little adorable things. And one thing I've noticed playing through this before, and I'm sure we'll notice as we go through here, the, it, this game fits perfectly with like those old uh, RPGs like Dragon Warrior and stuff because the encounter rate is at times frustratingly high. You just want to keep walking and you run into monsters. So, you know, at least it's got that feel going for it. But it is definitely a little frustrating at times. Which makes things like going through this cave really frustrating and having been the person who made this game I it's even frustrating for me as I'm going through it I know exactly where I need to go for a person who's never played this before and they don't know which direction to go yeah it's probably pretty frustrating maybe not so much for this cave because it's pretty straightforward just with a little couple side paths but some of the dungeons later are big mazes pretty much um, and I tried marking marking it for people who would know like which way you wanted to go, but if you don't know where you're going, yeah, you get lost for a while and get a ton of these, just a ton of these random encounters. So I can imagine that's frustrating for people, but sorry, that's that's how these old games were. So just you know, remaining true to the material, I guess. Um, but yeah. So, I think it captures that pretty well, at the very least. Let's just party, gain more stuff. Alright. see, we're... And I could be going just more straight through it, but... I you know, I want the side, I want the items while I can get them. I'm definitely not going to be doing that in all of the... All of the... Dungeons, though, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, blindness doesn't stay. I wasn't sure. Just holding my breath, hoping. Ooh, new enemies! Hornets! These guys are a little tougher. Nice. And, like, all of the enemies are either. Like, all the images are either default RPG Maker images, or I found them randomly online. I did a tribute all of those art credits to people from those I took it from, but it's all just default stuff. I didn't make any of it, so you know, I do not have that artistic ability at all, unfortunately. Which shows when I try doing just a tiny little edit to things in the game, and it's super obvious that it looks weird. Like Oreo's sprite there, for instance, or Tootsie's <laughs> face there, but whatever. Oh yeah, that's right, we're poisoned. Looks like some notebook was left here. Note or a book that was left by someone who's journeyed through here before. Let's read it. So since everything changed, I've started finding these blue flames around. I wasn't sure they were what they were at first, but they are important. Not only do they seem to be able to heal all of your wounds, but they seem to be just before some sort of danger. Take advantage of these to heal as a warning. Guess these are important. Let's heal and save. So... I did this near, like, when I was finishing making the game, because I wanted people to know to save before boss battles and stuff. 
but this notebook doesn't make any sense. Like, somebody who traveled through here since everything changed, which in the game was 15 minutes ago, they decided to leave a journal. Whatever. Hey, let's save, because the book told me to. Alright. Hmm, Caven. No way want two of us can move this. Well, what was that? Boss battle, music change. So how I said they were all default enemies, this one you can tell, obviously cut, you can really see the edges there, just photoshopped out, I don't even know where I found this picture, Wikipedia or something like that, and I just tried cutting it out, it's pretty noticeable, right, let's, let's heal a little here, but, um, wow that was really easy, probably because I got that excellent move in there, he didn't even use any magic. That mole has like a stone ability that hurts a lot, so. Whoa, that was crazy. That where did that thing come from? I don't know, but it seems like we took care of it this time. But we have to get through this cave. If only the mole knocked it out of the way. Hey! Hey! Listen! <laughs> Heard loud noise. Do you two need help? Sure do. You're big. Could you help us move these? You got it. Grade A paraphrasing there. Who are you? My name's Josie. I'm just glad I could help. We could really use that power you have. You really helped us out there. I agree. We were trying to figure out who was causing all these strange or what's causing all these strange events. You could really use your help. That's why I'm out here. I have no idea where to start looking. We might have a better chance together. Woo! Josie joined the group. That's good. Josie is a dog who is always there to help. She continuously goes out of her way to aid others who are in need. Before everything changed, she used to live in a place with several other humans and animals. She had, a temp she had temporarily ventured away from home when everything changed. She suddenly became aware of so many things, but had no idea where she was supposed to go or what to do. She was lost. She knew she had a home but could not remember where it was, or anything about it. She began to wander aimlessly in hopes of finding out what had happened, and maybe, if everything went back to normal, she would be home once again. Aw, sad story. Lost dog. But, at least we got Josie, with some badly photoshopped eyes that look weird. But, she's got some items and stuff too. Sweet. Let's go! Whoa, got really dark out really fast. We should try to stay at the wise man's house. Yeah, if he loves us. Alright. Wise man house. Hello? Is anyone there? Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Well, hopefully they won't mind if we stay the night. And there's a little item in here. Life up. Ooh. So... We eventually get like 10 total characters, but these three all pretty much end up being in most of the game. We'll give it to the healer for now. Especially Josie. She she ends up learning Cure and everything, so she's definitely going to be in her group. But these other two, Oreo and Tootsie, end up learning some good attacks. Especially Tootsie, the last ability she learns at level 30 is kind of game-breaking, <laughs> but that's alright. So you'll see these three a lot with interchangeable fourth character. Alright, next morning. We'll save it again, just for fun. Oop, there we go. Alright, wise man. Mm, good thing I got that item before, because I wouldn't be able to get it now. May I help you? Hello, I'm sorry, but we stayed in your house without your permission. It is quite alright. What brought you here? We began traveling to try to find out what caused everything to change. Ah, yes. The change in perception. Indeed, much has changed. We came to try to see if a wise man here had any idea about what made it cause it. I have observed him very much, but unfortunately the cause of these events has eluded both of us. There is a story from many years ago that told of a similar type of an event happening. These events were caused by great evil and had the potential for great power. I do not know much of these stories, but perhaps these questions can be answered. If you 
across the bridge to the east, head south, you will come across the Bodan Temple. There you may find what you seek. Thank you. We appreciate it. Sorry for barging in here and sleeping in your beds. It is quite alright. Now go, find what you seek, and please do all that you can. We will. Alright, wise old rabbit. Telling us what to do. Alright, crossing bridge to the east, and go south. There's a big castle and our temple, so let's go to the temple first. More fierce dogs! It'll be pretty easy with just three of us now in the group. Tootsie's party victorious. Awesome. And they're all level three now. Sweet. We're moving. Moving up in the world. Alright, Bodan Temple, and I'm pretty sure there's things around here. Yeah, alright, cool. High potions I won't need for a while as long as I have enough regular potions. I think there's something over here too. Yeah, I'm just saying. 300 gold. Good. Cool, cool. I always like the music in here. Kind of stole all the music slash it was a lot of it was default as well. Um, alright. Hello, my name is Brandy. I have been watching over this temple since my last left. Hello, we're traveling in order to try to figure out what caused all these changes. Yes, that is the question everyone is trying to answer. Unfortunately, I do not know. We will do all we can to try to answer that question, but we obviously will not be able to do it alone. Anything you can tell us will help. I too would be able to do all I can to help, although I do not have any helpful information. There is someone here who might. But you're the only one here. Who else is there to help? Something like this has happened before. Time flows like a river, and history repeats. So, this game is... I tried to fill it with a bunch of random video game and other movie references and all sorts of stuff, and that Time Flows Like a River is straight from the beginning of uh, Secret of Mana, which I already took the music from earlier, so... Two quick Secret of Mana references in there. I think that's it as far as Secret of Mana references, but... Those are some, some obvious ones. Um, so, oh yeah, so this part has a whole bunch of plot, basically. So, this happened before, a bunch of heroes who, uh, saved the world, uh, and they preserved their spirits here in our realm after they died for being able to help people if this ever happened again. Questions? I don't know. Go to the statue and they'll show themselves. Alright, well... This seems like as good a time as any to save and stop for now. We will come back in part three. See you then.